Hello everybody, this is Gina and Gina's English. Do you remember the last class? Uh, the last video that I uploaded was about 35 uh, verbs are used with infinitives, right? I hope that you uh, study with that uh, to try to memorize so many verbs, okay? Today, I am going to... Okay, after you memorize, you have to know how to make sentences, right? If you don't know how to make sentences, there's no point. You have to memorize the verbs, right? All right, let's get started. So like you can see here, the old verbs here, uh, we have 35, but today I am going to go through 15, okay? So, after 15 verbs in the next in a class, I'm gonna just give you 10 and 10, so we're gonna cover all the verbs together, okay? So before we start, I wanna just try to review how much you study with that, right? So let's see. Afford to, agree to, appear to, arrange to, ask to, bad to, care to, claim to, consent to, decide to, demand to, deserve to, expect to, fail to, hesitate to. Alright, so now the verbs are the sentences here as example sentences. Alright, so first one, afford. I cannot afford to buy it. I cannot afford to buy it. So when you look at here, after afford, we're using two infinitive, right? I cannot afford to buy it. I cannot afford to buy what? Maybe you want to say what you cannot afford to buy. I cannot afford to buy a car, right? Or you can say I cannot afford to buy a house. Something like that. All right. So whenever you study uh, English, I encourage you to make a sentences, of course, and then, but when you make a sentences, you need to, you know, try to make sentences using affirmative sentences, negative sentences, question sentences. Of course, you need to use different tenses. You need to use present or past or future, right? So then it's gonna be very helpful for to you. So if you wanna use as a past, uh, you can say I could not afford to why spelling is error. Okay, this is the beauty of the computer. <laughs> Four to buy a car maybe last year right so i could not afford to buy a car last year that means that last year not now not last year you were not able to afford to buy a car but maybe now you are able to buy your car, right? If you want to make a question, you can say, can you afford to buy a car? Can you afford to buy a car? Oh, uh, if you have money, of course. Yes, I can. I can afford to buy a car. But if you don't have money, you can say, well, I cannot afford to buy a car at this moment. 
So afford is a very important verb, okay? Brian, I have a question. Yes. All right, so what can you afford to buy uh, in 2020? Um, I can afford to buy a new uh, TV. New TV? Okay, so you can afford to buy a new TV. All right, let's go to the next one, agree. So this is an example sentence, they agree to help us. So when you look at here, agreed, this is the past, right? They agreed to help us. So if you want to say, I agree to go to uh, the party, this Saturday. In this case, you have to say agreed. So when you agree, it's already happened in the past, right? So I agreed to go to the party this Saturday, right? Or if you want to make a question, uh, do you agree? to study English with me. Do you agree to study English with me? Do you agree to study English with me? Right? If you want to use something happen all the time, you're going to say do you, right? And let's say I don't agree to study with you <laughs> then this is a negative sentence right uh yes do you uh, agree, agree. <laughs> do you agree to use your you know face on my youtube uh yes thank you thank you so I much agree. okay here we go number three appear so appear in here, appear means she looks to be tired. So that this literally means she looks tired. This is, you know, exactly the same idea. But when you see appear here, that means something that does not appear. It's not like that. You appear to be tired today, that means you look tired today, right? So appear means looks tired. You appear to be tired, right? So I want you to be careful with that. So anyhow, uh, the point is that when you are using appear, we use to. So you look, up, you, you appear to be tired. Okay, let's say you appear to be excited you look you appear to be excited uh, you appear to be excited oh what's going on well this is 2020 people <laughs> it's a new year so I am excited uh, you you appear to be tired today <laughs> what happened oh, it's, uh, it's just the end of the day Okay, so what does appear mean here? You look appear. You look. You appear to be tired, right? Yeah, you look a certain way. Okay, if you are ma making up questions to me, how do you say that? Um, By using appear. You well, look. You appear. You you appear to be well rested. <laughs> I did not expect that answer. <laughs> I mean, question. Okay, so what does that mean, well rested? Uh, you, you appear that you're full of energy. Well, but you know, I've been busy making my video for my YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Uh, all right. Let's go to ask. So the example sentence here is that he asked to come with us. He asked if this is the past, right? To come with us. So after ask, you use to come, right? So let's try to make, uh, did you, did he ask to come with us? If you want to make a question sentence, it's going to be like that. Did he ask to come with us? Yes, he did. If you want to answer, you can say yes, he did or no, he didn't. <laughs> like that or um, he didn't ask to come with us then like you can see here he did not didn't ask that's gonna be negative sentence right okay cool so we're gonna go through ask so next one is bag. He begged to come with us. He begged to come with us. That means that, oh, can I go with you guys? He's begging. Oh, can I go with you guys? You know, it's like he, he really wanted to come with us, right? So he begged to come with us. So uh, this is in you know, a good tip of one of the conversation sentence. You know, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Do you guys know what that means? I beg your pardon. Or some people say I beg your pardon. Or some people say pardon me. Right? That means that excuse me <laughs> excuse me excuse me i beg your pardon so if you don't understand what other people say to you then you said excuse me i beg your pardon that means can you please tell me one more time i beg your pardon this is just you know a little tip that i want to give it to you all right let's go to the Bag. What does bag mean? Uh, bag is you're really needing something. Okay. So when you need really something, I beg to to have job. Mm -hmm. I beg to have a real job. Something like that. Yeah. Can you I, give me I an beg, example? I beg the the teacher to raise my grade. <laughs> Say one more time. <laughs> I beg the teacher to raise my grade. Okay. I beg the teacher to raise my grade. <gasps> teacher, can you raise my grade, please? <laughs> if I don't get A, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I see. What does I beg your pardon? Oh, uh. It's, you can you can be like I beg I beg your pardon yeah or you're you're trying to get someone's attention what does that mean oh um, excuse me oh if you don't understand I beg your pardon mm -hmm. I beg your pardon right okay <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go to the next one care care I don't care to see this show I don't care to see this show. I don't care to see that sh show. That means that I do not like, I do not really uh, mind to see that show. Uh, let's make another sentence like, okay, uh, eat anything. <laughs> so I don't care eat anything. That means that I can eat everything. I can eat everything, which means that I am not picky. I am not picky. I am very easy going. Uh, 
All right. Okay, let's go to number seven. Claim. Claim. She claims to know a famous movie star. Let's say, hey, I know, I know Tom Cruise. Are you serious? Yes, he's he's my friend. <laughs> so she claims to know a famous movie star. Very interesting, right? All right, next one, consent. Consent. Consent means like you know you agree literally uh, something legally, right? She finally consented to marry him. So when you look at here, we have consented. So that means that this is the past, right? She finally consented to marry him. I guess this guy said, "Hey, can you marry me?" Oh, well, I want to. I need to think about that. Can you marry me? <sighs> I'm not ready. Can you marry me? Yes, I marry you. That means that she finally agreed, right? To marry him. <laughs> okay. What about consent? Let's talk about consent. Uh, consent. What does consent mean? Well, uh, like earlier, I give consent to to use your face. Uh, the tape or this tape. Oh. To take this. Okay, but uh, you didn't sign it. Oh. <laughs> Is it it's okay? just yeah, just a verbal. Okay, so agreement. you consented me. To film you, right? Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Decide. It's a very useful vocabulary. Decide. I have decided to leave on Monday. I have decided to leave on Monday. So, like you can see here, have decided. Have decided. It's a present perfect tense. Something happened in the past. And then it affected to the present. So I have decided to leave on Monday means I started to thinking about it whether I'm going to leave or not and then I have decided to leave on Monday. Okay if you want to make this one question you can say hey have you decided to leave? Or if you want to use when, you can say at the, at, the, at the beginning of the sentence, you can say, when have you decided to leave? When have you decided to leave? Or if you are still thinking about decide, then you can say, well, I haven't, I have not decided to leave yet. I have not decided to leave yet. I have not decided to leave yet. That means that this is the negative sentence, right? So this is the 2020 January 2nd. Okay, at the beginning of the January, you said, oh yeah, this year I have decided to study English every day for three hours. <laughs> Right? This is a very uh, wonderful decision, right? I have decided to study English every day, every day for three hours. I have decided to study. Really? Good for you. Good for you. I hope that <laughs> this decision uh, will continue uh, until you are very confident in speaking or writing or listening English, right? <laughs> okay. Decide. All right. Have you decided the New Year's resolution in 2020? Oh, uh, I, I, I have not. This is <laughs> January 2nd. You have not decided. No. What you do? Um. You have to decide to do list quickly, right? Yeah, I, I decide to be a better person. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, say it one more time. Oh, uh, I, I decide to be a better person this year. <laughs> I decided to be a better person mm -hmm. this year. What do you mean a better person? So you're not a good person? Well, maybe I'm good, but not great. So you can um, always like do better. Better, okay. <laughs> People, do not make a lot of lists, okay? Be humble. <laughs> I have decided to be a better person. That's it, okay? Don't make many lists. This is actually a very realistic goal, <laughs> I think, right? All right. All right, we're gonna go over to demand. Demand. Let's talk about demand. I demand to know who is responsible. I demand to know who is responsible. So after demand, we also use to. If you have to use another verb. All right. So I am going to finish up here today. And then please make your own sentences using all these 10 verbs in the description below. When you make your sentences, don't worry to make mistakes. If you make mistakes, that's good to you, right? Because that's a good opportunity for you to understand your mistakes and then you can learn from there. You need to be more active when you study English, right? So after you watch my video, Try to make your own sentences to apply to your daily life. Make a question sentences, negative sentences using different tenses. I know this is not going to be easy. Try out and write out your sentences in the comments below. I will definitely check your sentence and then I will give you feedback so that we are learning from our mistakes. All right, thank you for, uh, you know, having your time uh, for my subscribers. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say welcome. something to my subscribers uh, for 2020? Uh, keep, let's see, keep studying English. <laughs> keep studying English. Okay, yep. how about you? Do you keep studying Korean? Uh, I need to go not really, no, not really. Korean. What Korean can you not speak? Really. I have lots uh, of Korean, you know, uh, subscribers. Can you say something to them? Uh, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Okay, that's uh, it. Yeah. Well, and say it, but it's not going to make sense. Well, okay, tell Shut. me. It's okay. Miguk, miguk, saran. Miguk saran. All right, thank you guys. I hope that my lesson was very informative and useful. Thank you so much and then have a good day and have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome 2020. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for joining my lesson. Thank you for being my students. I am very blessed to have you as my subscribers. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're just so unpredictable. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, that's so funny. Who is going to answer like that? Man, this is so... You're like... Mmm, I wanna be a... <laughs>